Okay, so now I'm gonna tour the Ellington model. This is the biggest model. I gotta put my sunglasses on here. This is the biggest model that is offered by Dream Finders Homes. Again, the lot sizes are 60 foot wide by 120 feet deep. There are 107 home sites available in the Dream Finders section, and they are the first ones I think that are gonna come to market. They're gonna have these models open hopefully by uh, before the end of October, and there are going to be three homes that they could have finished before the end of the year. So if you're looking to live in this area and you want to close before the end of 2024, this might be something you want to check out. Make sure you give me a call so that we can set up an appointment so you can come out here with me and we can do this together and check out these models and meet with the Dream Finders rep. Remember, the Dream Finders reps, they're great, they're nice, but they don't work for you, they work for the builder. So I've, I have flipped this camera around. This is the Ellington model. It is a big mamma jamma. I think this is five bedrooms. Uh, whoo, he's big. All right, again, it's still a construction site, but we're gonna go in. And they are not doing offices here. So this will show you the two car garage. Um, let's just pop in here. I gotta walk in over some tools. There is a nice breeze, thank goodness, because we don't have any electricity here. So this is also just under 4,000 square feet. Um, hello. Uh, you walk in here, we have um, a nice size office. The other home had about a 10 by 10 office. This is an oversized office, like the size of this office very much. It's bigger. This would be a much larger formal dining room. I think it's a larger. You're going to easily, uh, I think, be able to get uh, seat 10. I would say you could easily seat 10 in this area. Definitely eight. Still in the foyer here, but we have our guest bath, uh, powder room. Little powder room here. And this would probably be like a storage closet, a coat closet. We don't have the need to have a lot of coats in Florida, thank goodness. That's why we like living in Florida, right? Another closet here. Here's a little nook. I'm gonna start with the primary suite bathroom. I didn't even get to the living area yet. Look, look at this. We've got double vanity and a very large shower. Now they'll have glass right here. Uh, and then you'll just be able to walk in, but it's got a, a bench on this side and a bench on this side. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I love a good bench in a shower. You've got the water closet here. And then we come back through Um, it's a sizable closet, but um, not enough room for a little island. It's another closet here. So two closets and and your primary uh, bedroom area. Definitely big enough for a California king if you wanted to get that in there. Okay, now we come into the living area. So this is your living area and the covered patio, which is very similar to the other covered patio. Kind of, it's like the shape of a T, a squatty T, because it's longer on the sides than it is down the middle. And then this is your breakfast nook. And that would be where your dishwasher goes, microwave, oven, cooktop, refrigerator would be right over here. There's a lot of storage here. Okay, so this is where you would come in from the garage. This would be probably a drop zone, I would imagine. And then your laundry room. And 
And then over here, you have under um, the stairs storage, which would be your pantry area. And then back into your dining area. So we've got two bedrooms downstairs. And then your other bedrooms upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs real quick. So as you go upstairs, You have a big, um, this would be kind of the secondary uh, living area. Come around here. Got a bedroom here with a closet right there. That's gonna be where your air handler is. A bathroom with a uh, double vanity and then a separate door for the uh, shower and the commode area, which is great because, I mean, this home is designed for a lot of people and a lot of people sometimes have to get ready at the same time. So having uh, a way to have somebody be able to take a shower while somebody else is brushing their teeth, I mean, that's really a no-brainer. So then you have bedroom here, here. So there's three bedrooms and a bathroom. And air handler here. Oops, I said this was the air handler here. Well, I think it is though. Okay. Well, it's hard to tell. It's a construction site, right? And then we have another bedroom here. Hi! With its own, what's in there? Oh, closet. Is that a closet? Oh, it is with the window. Okay. Oh, and its own bathroom. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, so, all right. So you've got four bedrooms up here, primary, and then another one. So that's six bedrooms. My goodness, a lot of bedrooms. It's a big house, big, big house. Okay, so there you have it. You have gotten a sneak peek before anybody else probably, I don't know how many videos are out there of these two model homes right now that are under construction, but you may be seeing it firsthand right here. And um, I think they're gonna be done soon. So we can set up appointments to come see the finished uh, product, but I'll also come back and do a video of the completed decorated models for you so you can get a better feeling. So if you are from out of state, especially, and you are wondering, how am I ever going to figure out what is good for me? What will work for me? Am I going to like the area? Am I, am I going to like the, the design of the home even? Um, come back and see what they look like afterwards. I think that you'll find it really, really helpful. All right, so I have a few more things that I need to show you that's happening in the Angeline community because you know a lot of things already. You know that there are townhomes available. You know that there's a 55 and plus community called Medley at Angeline. Uh, you know that it will be a lagoon community in the future. Um, I think they're going to build about a five acre crystal lagoon, but that's going to be years from now. So that's not going to be right now. So I'm going to show you a couple other areas that are being improved for the residents here. So come on, let's go check those out. There are two other single family home builders that are getting ready to offer their homes as well. That would be DR Horton and Lennar. I will be getting that information available and uh, put out in a video soon. But today I'm just focusing on what's new in Angeline uh, and also the fact that DreamFinders has these models that I could go and show you in person. So, but I will do another video where I show you what DR Horton and Lennar are up to, but they're not gonna be ready to give us even floor plans just quite yet. We're gonna all have to be patient. Across the street from the DreamFinders entrance, will be, uh, what I am told, will be uh, a little community park and uh, pool area for the residents to use until that Crystal Lagoon eventually gets built. 
So that's going to be directly across from the entrance of Dreamfinders. At least that's what it shows on the map. And that's what I was told at the Welcome Center. So um, also there are going to be up to nine dog parks here. Currently there is a dog park uh, close to the townhome areas, but there will be up to nine dog parks uh, as well. So if you know you need to be in this area, let's say you are coming from out of state, for example, and you're gonna be working at Moffitt, and you're not quite sure, you just wanna live somewhere for a little while until you can kind of decide what area is the best for you because you know you're going to be working in Spiros. Uh, Angeline is right next door, but you know maybe you're not sure. Do I want a Dreamfinders home? Do I want a Dr. Horton home? Do I want a, uh, a Lennar home? There are options other than single-family homes. There are townhomes that are still available. And right here, what they're doing behind me is that they're building a little amenity center for the townhomes that are built by Lennar and Dr. Horton, and they'll be a shared amenity is what I understand. This will be a pool uh, area with like a little small kind of clubhouse thing. I don't have the renderings of it, but you can see it's under construction. They hope to have this done by the end of this year, the end of 2024. And so some of these townhomes could be very reasonable uh, places to stay temporarily. Um, they're, I mean, I'd have to double check the pricing because prices are changing daily because different builders are offering different incentives. So on this video, I'm not gonna put the, the price uh, as I'm talking in the video, but let's just say we know that they are less than single family homes, right? They have to be because they're townhomes. They're not single family homes. So this could also be an option. So I'm gonna do some other videos when I have the information available regarding Lennar, regarding Dr. Horton, and I'm gonna come back and show you the finished Dreamfinders homes in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna come back and show you the finished Dreamfinder models. You're gonna just love the finishing of those. You're just gonna love how they look because everybody loves a beautiful model home. They do because they, they take their time, they decorate them so nice and we fall in love with them and they've got that new car smell. I call it the new car smell, even though it's a new home smell. But um, I'm gonna come back and show you what those homes look like finished. So if you are thinking, hey, I need to move to this area. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. Just reach out to me. I am so happy to help you. That is what I do and I love to do it. My name is Allison Newland. I'm the broker owner of Platinum Properties of Florida and I look forward to hearing from you.